Todd here with a quick video on how to sit and play guitar in order to be a little better. Uh, I sit in what's called classical position, which is where you have the guitar in the middle, like that, instead of on one leg, which I call side saddle. A lot of people play side saddle, and that's fine, but it actually limits the range of your arm. Uh, getting used to playing in the middle can be a challenge at first. There's a reason classical guitar players always have the guitar between their legs and not on the right side. It's basically because in the middle like that it allows your hands to get a little better reach. There's also a reason you see them putting their left foot up on a stool, a little footstool like this. It increases the angle of the guitar neck. If the angle is flat you have a limited reach. If the angle is up about like that you actually get a lot more reach. That's why you see them using these footstools. Now, after studying some classical guitar, I applied those same techniques to my regular electric guitar practice and noticed that I got a lot better really quick for doing nothing more than putting the guitar where it should be in the middle instead of over on the right and for using a footstool. So now, I always use a footstool and sit classical style whenever I'm playing electric. Now these things can be had at any musical supply store or eBay for about 20 bucks maybe 10 bucks if you find a good sale and anything will do. Now, if you don't want to spend that much money, you can literally go to the dollar store and get a footstool like this for literally two or three bucks, right? But if you don't want to do that, you can literally take a stack of books, anything, doesn't matter, anything that will take your left foot and raise it up about yay much, right? A little more, a little less, just get your left foot off the ground. Put the guitar in the middle. You'll notice that the neck now feels a lot more accessible. That's because it is. That's why classical players play that way. Now, it's true, many great players play side saddle, and that's fine. But especially when you're learning and when you're struggling a little bit, I would suggest that you definitely try classical position, guitar in the middle, get something to put your left foot on to raise it up, and get that angle. Now, when you stand up and play, take your guitar right where it sits in classical, right? Stand up and adjust your strap roughly to that position, okay? Otherwise, you have to learn everything twice because if you play with your guitar roughly here when you're sitting and you stand up and you throw it down to your knees because it looks cool, your hand position is entirely different and you have to basically learn everything over because you're having to play it in an entirely different way. Don't do that. <laughs> Maybe later. But especially when you're learning, especially first, try and keep the same position seating, seated, seated, when you're sitting as you do when you're standing. So sit, find your position, set your strap, and then stand up, and you've got the same basic angle, same basic position, right? So that what you were playing when you sat down feels about the same when you're standing up. I have students all the time tell me, well, it's fine when I sit down, then I stand up and I can't play it anymore. Well, it's typically because of this. So try classical position, put your left foot up on something, anything, and set your strap basically to the same position where you are sitting so that when you stand up, it's the same. Practice.